Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. You can see there's a sleepy Nathan in the background. We are in Abu Dhabi. Um, welcome to our hotel room. Someone's a little bit tired from the journey. What is it today? Friday and our anniversary. And our anniversary, yes. You've been stuck with me for a while. How does it feel? It's, it's good days and bad days. <laughs> you fucking bastard. <laughs> So I thought it'd be a good idea to start the vlog now because we've arrived in Abu Dhabi for the F1 weekend, but I've got to show you how incredible this hotel room is before we mess it all up. Welcome to Abu Dhabi. So I wanted to take you guys along to come to us with Abu Dhabi because well, this is the first time I've ever been, so this is new for me as well. I've also never been to a Grand Prix, um, so that will be exciting. But it's actually quite an interesting kind of like um, time in the middle of a fat loss phase. So obviously you guys will know that I've been pushing on with this fat loss phase the last kind of 17, 18 weeks without actually having, well, you might not know, but I haven't had any like untracked meals, no off-plan meals, everything has been tracked to a T. Every single box has been ticked. However, over this weekend, and starting from today, I'm going to be doing a deload week, but I'm also kind of like within that deload week where I typically would do cardio, etc. I'm actually just gonna to totally rest. So I'm gonna to totally rest over the next three days and just kind of focus on getting a good number of steps. But also, I've said to Soph, and we've discussed that it would be a good idea just to give me a little bit of time away from tracking, and also it is gonna be like, you know, I, I, there is no need for me to be basically on prep whilst I come away for a little bit of a weekend. So I'm not going to be tracking food, but I am going to also be enjoying myself to an extent. So I'm going to show you how I eat intuitively when I know that I'm in a fat loss phase and not wanting to act like a dick, but still wanting to enjoy myself. So I'm just going to take you through like a weekend of mindful eating. I probably won't show you everything because I'm not going to be filming the whole weekend, but I'll show you a few meals. Um, this morning, on the kind of like way, I just literally had black coffee. I had uh, some EAAs. I did have uh, Linda McCartney sausages and a wrap this morning. So like a typical kind of meal that I have. But we are going out for dinner later, our anniversary dinner. We're going to have some sushi. Um, and so I am at the point now where I'm quite hungry and it's quite a while to go. So I have just ordered some food. So I'm gonna show you what I've got. So, I've got a delivery ordered to the hotel because they're not very vegan friendly. Um, but also, the delivery, if you guys know, in Dubai and also in Abu Dhabi is awesome. So, I ordered from like a, a nice place called Nectar. They've got like really good, kind of like whole food kind of based things. So, this is the first thing. Oh wow, this looks amazing. It's a falafel and quinoa salad. It's pretty big. I probably won't end up eating all of this um, because it's not very high in protein. I'm also gonna have a protein shake. I brought my protein powder with me. And then because we're going for sushi later, I do want to treat myself to a little sweet treat. Um, but of course, I don't really know whether at the sushi restaurant they're gonna have something that's vegan. So. such a big box for such a small, small little thing, but let me show you what it is. Okay, this is the quinoa and the falafel salad. Let's try and get in here. Looks really good. So this is the salad that I'm gonna have now. And then this is for later on as a little bit of a treat. So this is like a little gooey chocolate peanut butter brownie. So I'm gonna eat that later on. Okay, we've got falafel, we've got hummus. Don't ask why I've got a spoon. They didn't bring cutlery. And um, it's the best I can do. And they've got little bits of like aubergine in here as well. I'm going for a bit of falafel. This is good. But so this is me about done. You guys can probably see like I've eaten there about half of it. I've left some of the like falafel and the hummus. Um, yeah, there's some like hummus on this side and then some falafel. I did, um, I did enjoy it, like it was good, but I needed something like light and voluminous 
to kind of fill me up and last me for all the next few hours until we go and eat sushi, where I do want to have like a little bit more of an appetite. But this is like a kind of thing that I would advise to anyone is never go out on an empty stomach because then you're just definitely destined to kind of like overestimate how hungry you actually are. So that's enough to kind of fill me up. I don't need to have any more. I might pop it in the fridge. We've got a fridge in the hotel room and maybe eat some of it tomorrow in case I want any more. Um, it was good though. I'll give it like a good like seven out of 10. At the end of the day, it's a falafel salad, you know, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. Um, so I'm gonna have a protein shake now. Then we're probably just gonna go and chill for a couple of hours. Uh, just woosa, I'm feeling a little bit tired. Touch up my face, get changed. And then we're off to Zuma. I think it's called Zuma. I'll show you when we get there. What are you wearing? I'm wearing my Gucci t-shirt, my Prada pants. Joking, I don't even, is it? This is all Zara, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, you, Stand up, give him a twirl. You pick this hole for me. Fucking now he's just done his knee replacement. Oh, and... yeah, I have no idea where I got this dress from, because it's an old one. I think it's an Opoly dress. I've got compact heels, which are actually stage heels, uh, but they've got a little bit of bling. And the back doesn't look too bad. I'm ready to go. Let's go. We have just showed up to Sadiat Island in Abu Dhabi for a little bit of some breakfast this morning and oh my god i've just got to show you the views first before i recap on how last night was what do you think we're moving to our island we're moving it is absolutely stunning so there's loads of little restaurants around here. So we're just literally gonna go and find somewhere that we can chill, do a little bit of work, uh, because I need to get all of those who are in my Mindset Masterclass entered into the Mindset class and just introduce them to everything that we're gonna be doing. Um, last night, we went for sushi at Zuma's. It was... It was average, six out of six out of seven. They weren't very imaginative with like their vegan sushi. Um, like there was one where there was like literally like a pickled gherkin and some rice. And it was just a bit like, come on guys, you could have thought better than that. But we did have some nice champagne. So I probably ended up having like, um, I had like some asparagus. I had like some grilled asparagus. It was actually really good. Um, a few sushi rolls and then a couple of glasses of champagne. Came home and ate my brownie which actually wasn't amazing either. So like, I've been highly unimpressed. I woke up and weighed myself this morning. I'm exactly the same weight as I was yesterday. So yeah, this morning we went down um, just to grab a coffee. I had a little bit of fruit um, and now it's about midday. So gonna have an actual meal. But before I left, I did have a protein shake because I don't know how high protein this place is gonna have different kinds of vegan foods. So we'll see what we find. So we've just had breakfast, brunch, lunch delivered and it looks pretty good. This place is really nice. It's not necessarily vegan, but it's kind of got like different like, they call them like healthy recipes, but I think they just care about the nutrient quality of their food and how they make their food. So Nath has ordered an acai bowl. He's got, it's swimming in peanut butter. Uh, but yeah, this acai bowl looks really good. So that's Nath's. I have ordered like um, shakshuka, but it's made with tofu. So I'm excited because I still get to get my protein in. And then I saw this little like vegan yogurt berry pot. I think it looks really nice. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this as well. Time to do taste test. Mm. 
Mm. That is insane. It's got like a really creamy sauce on top. The tomato sauce is a little bit spicy, but then it's got like pine kernels on top. So good. Right, let's dig into this. Football. It, it's race day. <laughs> Can you tell what team we support? We look like proper full kit wankers, don't we? Yeah. Um, not sure where we left you yesterday. Probably after we went and had some breakfast. But what did we have after that? We went to we went to qualifying, um, and then wow. F2 qualifying. F2 qualify. No. F2 race. F2 sprint race. And then we watched the qualifying. Not quite the result that we wanted, was it? No. No. Um, But what we did do was find a freaking vegan burger place. Neat burger. Like one of the coolest vegan burger chains in a little van. So we had the chicken burger. How was it? Fucking solid. Really good. Fucking solid. Very, very good. And then we also had like a kind of like a quarter pounder with cheese, but a vegan one. Good. Like a Big Mac, but... A lot more tomato sauce. A lot more tomato sauce than there needed to be. Yeah. They didn't have the nuggets and they forgot our chips. Probably a good thing they forgot our chips, to be honest, because I probably didn't need those. Um, so we're hoping that they have the nuggets today. Then we came back and we chilled and had a couple of glasses of fizz. Today we've literally just slept most of the day because I think we've realised how tired and overworked we are. Uh, Oh, breakfast though. You had like 17 desserts. Apart from the chocolate mousse, that was really good. It did look pretty good. I had like um, like a little mix of like veggies, like tomato, cucumber. I had like stuffed vine leaves, couscous. Um, I had one bit of falafel, one bit of like an onion pakora, and then just loads of fruit. I didn't even end up eating all of that fruit. And I had a little bit of bread with jam just for a carb up, you know, um, which was very, very nice. And we haven't eaten since. So I'm about to have a protein shake and then we'll probably go and have some chicken nuggets later. And... It's the big race. It's gonna be a good one, isn't it? I fucking hope so. Let's fucking hope so. <laughs> Let's go! Ferrari! Bloody hell, what a weekend, what a race. Very good result for Ferrari in the end. Very gutted about poor Lewis Hamilton. Um, but, oh my goodness, that was the most amazing experience. Like, literally, I have been on a high since <laughs> the weekend. Uh, it's now Wednesday. Wednesday the... Wednesday the 23rd of November. So got back on Monday and I've literally just been catching up on work the last couple of days. Um, But oh my goodness, the most incredible, incredible time. And it was so needed. Like I literally, up until this weekend, had been nonstop dieting and completely on plan for like 17 weeks. And unless it's like a prep, I think that's a pretty, you know, adherent thing to do. Uh, So I really, really missed having some downtime with friends, with loved ones, just getting to relax and switch off and not have to wake up every day for cardio. As much as I love it and it makes me feel good and I'm back to it now and I enjoy it. Like it is nice to sometimes be able to like do normal people things and sometimes bodybuilding is not normal people things and I'm not afraid to admit it um, as many bodybuilders will know. So when it comes to obviously how the rest of the weekend played out with regard to you know body composition wise or at least nutrition wise also you know I mentioned that neat burger place that did like vegan stuff it's owned by Lewis Hamilton what a guy I didn't know that but he's literally got this like um vegan burger chain um which has these different kind of like restaurants around the world and so this burger van was freaking awesome went back to it by the way on race day and um got the nuggets which were amazing did get some chips this time around they were relatively okay like they were good uh but nothing crazy special Anyway, um, so yeah, we had some more flexibility on the Sunday, obviously with some food from Lewis Hamilton's Neat Burger van. Um, And then also had some champagne when we got back um, just to kind of like celebrate a lovely weekend and just to kind of like let our hair down for the final day. By Monday, uh, I did not indulge in the very, very beautiful breakfast buffet 
but instead I got straight back to tracking and today is the first day that I've got back to cardio so it's been five days off of like normal uh, protocols with cardio and steps and only three days Friday through to Sunday where I wa was not having nutrition tracked. Um, actually really pleased <laughs> with where I'm at I definitely feel that I ate for flexibility and I definitely didn't eat the whole weekend with fat loss in mind. Like I was just like, I know that if I indulge to this extent, I'm not going to achieve fat loss, but I did choose to adapt how I was eating things so that I would at least kind of aim to maintain body weight. And lo and behold, I weighed in today at 130.4 pounds. I was 130.2 pounds on Friday before I left. So there we go back to baseline and also I took my check-in photos this morning um and I'm really pleased uh with how I'm looking I'm literally looking like the same if not only like a little bit fuller in my physique because I've had some carbs now to fill up my muscles a bit um so yeah super super happy with how I'm looking and now it is 19 days left of fat loss another three weeks of us plowing on and that will be it um so really really good weekend hope that you guys have enjoyed following along it was absolutely amazing and i hope to go to f1 races next year uh, maybe i'll manage to do another one aside from just abu dhabi again um but yeah oh my goodness i would love to fly around the world and watch the f1 races but let's just say fucking hell i've been looking at tickets and it's expensive um anyway also, just final note, if you don't um, follow me on Instagram, uh, I will be doing a QA and a for uh, the next video, um, or one of the next videos. And then also uh, there is a very special Black Friday offer with regard to coaching. If you have been interested in joining Team CBM, a very special Black Friday offer. So that is only going to last until the 30th. So please go and check it out ASAP and take action if you are interested in finding out what it is. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is because you're gonna have to go over to my Instagram. So I will leave this one here. Much love to you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See you soon.